Hi guys, so we are near Halloween and I wanted to do a video on this. Now you may remember I actually uploaded the video for this on the, I think it was the 18th of October. I eventually uploaded it for a couple of reasons. First one was that when I actually got this item on the 14th of October from UPS, it arrived damaged. So while I had actually had the item, I was unpacking it, testing it, realized that there was a fault and I ended my video because I'd reached out to Atmos support and I was told my call was in a ticket system and it was in a queue and it was going to take about five days or so and not to respond to the ticket because that would put my ticket further back in the queue. So I was very, very unhappy. So I created the video. It got published on the 18th. While that happened on the 15th and then 16th of October, I then reached out to Atmos on Twitter who then told me contact support, which I'd done. So I gave them the order number, some extra details, mentioned my frustration, and we had some updates. So yes, why have I still got this item? Why is it still here? It doesn't work. I don't need the item, okay? So it's here. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna be doing with it at the moment. So for now, I'm gonna put it here. But the important thing is there is an update as to what's gone on. So on the 17th of October, about 10 to 10 to 12, um, in, in obviously late evening, I, I was in bed, but I got the email on Tuesday morning saying, thank you for your ticket. We take pride in our packing and we make sure the items are tested and they've tested the items going down the stairs and the bulb has worked. So they wanted proof. But unfortunately, I couldn't get the proof to them until late Tuesday, the 18th. And by that time, I thought, sod it. Let's just get the video uploaded for everyone to see. Because A, I was unhappy. B, I felt the customer service had let me down. C, UPS severely let me down. And I wanted them to realise how annoyed and frustrated I was over this. So I sent them a picture. So I got the unit out. I sent them a picture and showed them, this is what it's doing. Yes, there's power. Yes, there's a green light. Is the bulb working? No. I'm pretty au fait with projectors, so I know when they're turned on and whether the bulb comes on. Quite clearly, this was a fault. And the way the item had arrived from UPS, there was definitely some sort of sign of damage. Plus, UPS kept delivering at the wrong times that were specified, and I wasn't around to collect it. In the end, the item almost went back to the States, but. That's a different matter, UPS suck, and I still state that to this day, and I'll explain why in a minute. So, where are we? So, Tuesday the 18th, okay? I get in from work, and I get an email that says, UPS tracking notification with a number. I'm thinking, okay, what's going on here? Two minutes later, I get a notification that I've got a refund, so all the money that I paid out, including all the shipping, all the carriage, all, all the extra costs, I get refunded back. Then I get a third email the same evening, five minutes later, about 7.25. I get an email that states that my digital downloads are ready for collecting. I thought, well, I haven't ordered any digital download. What the hell is going on here? When I looked at the UPS tracking, there was no information about what was going on. It wasn't until about an hour later, I get a call, well, not a call, an email, that states that they've been trying to reach out to me to explain what they've done. So this is what they've done. The status is that Amos of X appreciate the contributions to what I've done over the years. And I've, I've explained what I've done. If you're unsure what I do for Halloween, check out my channel, type in Halloween. You'll see a shed load of videos that may give you an idea of just how engrossed I get about Halloween and why it's just my favorite time of year. So. They gave me a full refund. They've ordered me a brand new kit. It's coming in a super duper box and it's gonna be well and truly packed. It's also been tested and verified. It's gone with UPS, so give me a tracking information. They've given me a complete refund. There's no additional cost when it gets to UK, no additional cost. They've also given me a download for Trick and Treat. So I click a link, got a code, downloaded the product. They've then given me a further discount code of a decoration of my choice so I haven't done it yet so I will go down and do that straight away I'm relieved a I've got my money back which I didn't ask for B more importantly I'm getting another item the brilliant part of it 
is that it's going to arrive on Thursday. So Thursday, the 20th of October, it should have arrived. Notice the word should because it didn't arrive. Wednesday morning, I get an email from UPS. OK, now this is this makes me laugh so much. It basically says the shipment details are delayed because they have not got the relevant paperwork to send through customs. So I immediately reach out to Atmos, who then came back to me very, very quickly to say, we don't understand that. We hand delivered the paperwork. We've now scanned it. They've now acknowledged they've got the paperwork. So how do UPS lose a piece of paper? Like, here's a can, okay? If you wanted a drink, I'd give it to you, okay? Or if you gave me a drink, you'd give it to me. How on earth do you lose a piece of paper? But I don't believe for one second Atmos have let me down. I do believe them from experience of UPS that they are stupid. And I have actually recommended to Atmos to use somebody like FedEx because I've used them so many times for my US purchases and they've been brilliant all the time. UPS have just been a pain in the butt. Anyway, back to the status. So where are we? So we are on the shipping then gets sent over. They've got the paperwork. It then turns up. So it goes through customs and it goes on a flight. OK, but here's the problem. Because they didn't get the paperwork, it didn't get on the flight until late Wednesday, which meant I got the item on Friday afternoon, which, to be honest with you, a day's delay is so much more better than having it for like a week and then being right on the edge of Halloween and not having time to test it and create this video for you. So Atmos and UPS have sort of got together, Atmos mainly, but I got the item on Friday and you want to see it, don't you? This is what turned up. This this is it, okay? Much, much bigger box. I won't show the delivery details, but it is a much, much bigger box. You can't see me. But inside it is, get rid of the paperwork, inside it is this, which is the replacement unit. And what we're going to do is test it. This would be the first time that we've actually tested the unit out. So I think we're, we're well and truly on our way now of getting this working. I don't believe for a second, single second I'm going to have an issue at all because they have packed it. The packaging in there is, is absolutely brilliant. So I think it's been well and truly protected. The first time the item turned up was in a box like this, all labeled, all shipping information. And I don't know, you know, did that make a difference? I don't think so. I think the way UPS probably handled the parcel and it could have been defective, but I think UPS do have a lot to answer. So where do we go next? The first thing we do is open it up. Let's prove to you this works. Let's get it set up and try and do a nighttime demonstration of the unit, give you my overall opinion of the um, kit and hopefully bring a satisfactory conclusion to this video. Atmos, you've been absolutely brilliant. I cannot stress it enough. To me, customer service is everything. And I live by that statement because nothing worse puts me off. And nobody wants bad press or publicity that they've got a product, they've got poor service. They really have stepped out. So credit to them. UPS, yes, okay, you delivered a day late. You delayed it by a day for not having the paperwork that was handed basically hand delivered to you and you still screw up that is just unacceptable so my personal thanks to everyone in Atmos I'm not going to put down any specific names because I don't think that's fair but I do believe in that this is going to work so let's get it open let's get this working let's get this tested and together we can hopefully get this video to a satisfactory conclusion Right, everything's all unpacked. I won't need the remote control just yet, but the first thing we're going to do is put the power in. So get the power in. Here's the new unit. So again, not been touched. Plug it in there. So it's all plugged in. Put it into mains. If you remember, this is a US model and I'm in the UK and I have to use something called a step down transformer, which is that. So I'll tell you what, let's turn it around. Take the cover off, line it up there so you can see it. So nothing at the moment. I'll put the tripod on later. Let's get the SD card in, because on the instructions it did stipulate 
to put the card in so in the back of the slot nice little click right three two one green light do we have we do success success so it works it works guaranteed there we are so the next thing we'll do now you see it working first time i don't think i need that for the moment and i don't need the instructions because i've gone through it if you want a tripod you can we'll probably go through this i did talk about this before that for me personally it's a little bit flimsy i'm going to use probably a better tripod but for the purpose of the setup and the kit I will make use of the tripod stand so we have a light the next thing we're going to do is wait till it gets darker and test it two hours later okay guys it's getting a bit dusk so I thought I would just test the projector on a wall so I just turn it on hopefully my camera's set up in the right place so I apologize now if I have to readjust it and I do need to readjust it Wait for that to go into focus. Okay, guys, I've powered on the projector, and as you can see, it's working fine. Now, a couple of things I've run you through too. I'm using the SD card for my source. This is the SD card that came with it. Um, you have buttons on the remote control or the actual projector itself. You select your input device, and straight away, just go ahead and acknowledge that. You press OK there. Now, here you have all your various effects. I'm going to try horizontal. Um, I don't fancy Christmas yet. It's obviously Halloween I'm more interested in. And let's try Night Stalkers. So let's press play. And let's see if it comes out. Now from here, that looked pretty good. I don't know how well the camera's picking this up, but it's, to me, it's very, on the wall, it's bloody impressive. And this is the first time I've seen this effect, so I've not played with it at all. But you get this with the projector. That's it. Right. I think you can actually get it going through different loops. Okay, I've just paused it. It can go through loops. Um, I'll uh, see if I can go back, shall I? Let's try... Um, I'll try something else if I can. Uh, we don't want Night Stalkers again. Let's try... What should we try? Um, zombie? No, let's try trick or treat. So right, here we go. We'll go. We'll, we'll try that one. Let's press play. Considering it's still not dark, from here it looks very, very good. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Trick or Okay, I'm going to turn that one off because I want to find something. Let's try phantasms. 
Let's try Phantasm, shall we? Let's play that one. Hopefully the camera picked this up. Yeah, apologies, the camera's just trying to... Camera's trying to get into focus, I do apologise about that, but let's try it again. And again, from here, it looks quite good. On, on a window, I reckon this is going to look even, even more impressive. The menu is meant to be very easy to navigate around. I think it is, but it's not that bad. All I want is, let me just find something. No for Christmas, Santa's. Yeah, let's try this one. Please work. I want something that looks nice. There we go. This is it. Let's turn the volume up. Shh. So as a window on a house, I think this would be perfect. Okay, and I'm going to stop it there because I want to bring a, an ending to this video. I could probably sit here all day. Do you know what? It's got darker. I'm pretty satisfied with what I've seen. But I personally will guarantee you that when you do it on an even darker evening, I think you'll be impressed with, with the results. I don't think you're going to doubt it for one second. As a home kit, it seems to do everything you want. Plus with the bonus collection that you get or any additional digital downloads, whether that's on USB stick or SD, I think you're going to be in your element. Okay, so I'm done. I'm satisfied with what I've seen now. So back to my first video, would I recommend it? Well, no, I wouldn't have done because of the customer service, the fact that I had to pay a lot of shipping costs and customs charge on top which I won't go into however having the unit working and all the images you get and I have to say it's actually been better than what I thought it was it's certainly in my opinion this seems to be brighter than my first generation Atmos projector and it looks sharper as well I suppose you combine that with a decent shower curtain all the screen that you get I mean the whole kit can includes everything you want it includes it Plus, if you want it for Christmas, you've got it there. We've just seen it. Even though it was on a wall, to me, it's still bright. I know a camera cannot really pick that up, but honestly, your eyes don't deceive you. And I don't think you're going to be doubting this for one second. So if you're in the States and you can get it, I think you've got an absolute bargain. I just go that one further step to realism and scare, but I like things to be set up properly. So the tripod, I will be using my own I've got a special large mounted tripod so I'll be using that in place but it does work once it's in place and as long as it's left alone it'd be absolutely fine to me it's just a little bit bendy that I would like I would rather have it rigid and position it myself that's all. but that's not to say don't get it for that you can pick up tripod stands for three or four pounds and maybe about five six bucks if you're in America so yeah I I would say if you get it you won't be disappointed even if you get it for Christmas you will not be disappointed and if you look online there's loads more digital downloads as well yes that's it so my thanks to Atmos oh I wasn't paid to do this and just because I had a refund I did say to them that I would do a follow-up review so this isn't a product endorsement and I'm not being paid to do any of this at all this is my own money if you want to see the bill I can tweet it on Twitter without my address but honestly 
I had paid for it the first time. They generously refunded me. I was not expecting the refund. I didn't want the refund. It was about the item coming for Halloween. And, and that was it. But Atmos have gone up one step further. Customer service, as I've said, it's second to none. And that's always key to making a customer go back to get more. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because I would really, really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please put them below. I will try to answer the questions. If you want to see my previous video, there is a link, so have a look at that as well. You can even look at my first generation projector to get an idea of what that was like last year, and I did use it for Halloween as well. That's it, thank you very much, and I will see you on the next video. Ooh,